Okay, so our project was a metal detecting robot. Um, essentially, we just have a metal detector on the front and uh, got some motors driving treads. And the idea is that it would find um, mines, which in this case is a phone, but uh, <laughs> yeah. um, it'll find those and avoid them and then keep on its path. And we've got it set so it'll do like a sweep of an area, so it'll go back and forth um, to a preset amount of um, like to a preset distance, essentially. So we uh, constructed the chassis out of polycarbonate plastic, um, just fabricated everything in the shop, and then uh, built a, an extending arm to keep the in, uh, inductor coil away from the actual circuit components, so there would be uh, less res um, interference with that. And the tracks drove them with uh, two small motors in the back that um, are connected with an H-bridge so we can reverse each one and you move it independently. Well, the metal detector is homemade. AC signal that is outputting our metal detector. Yeah, we've got two picks right now. We've got one of them running the motors in the LCD display, and then we've got the other one working on the uh, working off that BFO circuit, which is a beat frequency oscillator that runs off that inductor, and it basically just constantly monitors that and sends a signal to the other pick um, when it finds a mine. This is our BFO circuit back here. It's a bunch of transistors and capacitors. This is the reference coil we use um, to compare to the actual sensor coil. Yeah, and we have like the two coils have the same frequency, that is 74 kilohertz. So when the, um, um, the front coil that takes a metal is going to change the frequency, it's going to be a higher frequency. And we basically made a, a here is a filter this way. So we can like pass the higher frequencies, and then I make another filter that makes uh, the frequency like a DC voltage, 